Season's greetings, Disney enthusiasts. Today, we're gonna explore some holiday delights at some of the Disney resorts and at Disney Springs. But here's a quick question for you. If you could have that one Disney holiday tradition, what would it be? Subscribe now and let us know in the comments, and let's have a great, big, beautiful day and make some of that magic happen together. transportation here yeah. at Disney's All-Star Movies Resort, which is where we're staying for Thanksgiving weekend. And we're on our way to Disney Springs. Thankfully, the Disney Springs stop is right here outside the exits of the transportation area. We're just waiting for the bus. We've made it to Disney Springs, and you can already see the decoration of this awesome entertainment district here, and shopping and dining, of course. Coming on in, you can see some of the things they have here. Take a stroll around and discover all the wonderful Christmas trees this holiday season to help you on your journey. Pick up a Christmas tree stroll map from one of the following distribution locations. Then return it to the location to receive a special surprise. And then also, we're doing a virtual queue to visit Santa, as you can see there with the QR code. You can always scan that code to get more information. But take a look at the wonderful Christmas tree here. Not part of the stroll. Actually, it is part of the stroll. It's the town center tree here at Disney Springs. Here over by World of Disney, we have the Princess and the Frog tree. You can see all the little elements and accents reflecting that Disney movie. I like the floor de list they have there on the tree and some baked goods, very cool. And then right next to that, we have the Frozen tree because some people are worth melting for. Got different snowflake accents to it. But now we're gonna head to World of Disney, which has some great wreaths hung up and see what kind of Christmas stuff we can find inside. With the World of Disney being such a large store here, I'm not gonna be able to go through what they have here for you. But if you're at Disney Springs, definitely come check it out. It is, I believe, the largest Disney store here at Walt Disney World. And it's gonna have pretty much anything and everything you can look for, for the most part. There are a few exceptions to that, but still come by anyway, see what you can find and see what you like for your Christmas shopping or really any other holiday shopping you might do, or just because you can because it's Disney. Well, we did find one thing here that we like, and uh, Christy's got herself a little Marie hoodie for the cool weather it is right now, because it's like 60 degrees outside. Is it comfy? Yes. Very cool. And of course, Lorelai here is very jealous because she loves Marie. She's holding it in. Now, of course, a trip to Disney Springs is not a trip to Disney Springs, unless you have Starbucks coffee, but we're not here for coffee. We're here to get a holiday beverage. We're gonna grab one of these gingerbread wishes, iced gingerbread oat milk chai with regular whole milk instead of oat milk, because we like it that way. No ice, no room, and enjoy an amazing holiday treat. And here is our grande iced gingerbread chai with, well, whole milk and no ice, and it is uh, amazing. That's all I gotta say. We're here for a little bit of lunch before we have dinner tonight. We're here at the Daily Poutine with some gourmet frites, and check out what they have here an Italian, Canadian, butter chicken, Korean barbecue, and loaded frites. We're gonna do Canadian traditional one there for Christy and Lorelai, and then I think Anthony and I are gonna try that Korean barbecue one. Just in case you don't know what that Canadian one is, you've got French fries, beef poutine gravy, and cheddar curds, and then the Korean barbecue has your french fries with Asian barbecue pulled pork, kimchi, and sriracha aioli. We've got some hot fries on a cold day. Here's our Canadian poutine, and then our Korean barbecue poutine. And Lorelai dug onto that uh, regular one. How is it? Good. Very good, Laura, uh, Christy? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then Anthony's trying the Korean barbecue. Let's see how he likes this one. That is really good, actually. The, the shredded pork is nice and tender. The the kimchi is actually pretty nice. Guys, on the kimchi in there, that's not that bad. Yeah, look at that kimchi. And then that, that sriracha aioli in there too. Oh yeah, adds a wonderful kick. I really love it. And I might actually like this better than the regular one. I like my Korean barbecue. So this little uh, pork nugget of fries and kimchi and the conglomeration of flavors there between the pickliness of the kimchi to the sweetness of the Korean barbecue to the somewhat, I guess, bland nature of the potato from the fries. 
perfect combination of flavors. If you like Korean barbecue, if you like your spice, especially kimchi, definitely an option to have here at the Daily Poutine in Disney Springs. Right near the Daily Poutine is going to be Amaret's Patisserie, and they actually have some holiday stuff going on right now too, including this hot cocoa creme brulee, gingerbread cheesecake, holiday sweets petty cake, Christmas tree and cream puff, and a cookies and milk eclair. They also have this Mickey Winter Hat Dome Cake with its layers of vanilla chiffon, chai tea mousse, cranberry cherry pat de fruit, almond crunch, and a brown butter ganache. Now we're gonna head away from Disney Springs for a little bit and take you on a resort hopping tour at some of our favorite deluxe resorts and show you some Christmas and holiday decorations they have there, including our next stop, Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. So we ended up getting off at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort instead of the Grand Floridian. And you can see some of the decorations already up there. And as we go inside, there's your tree to the left. Let's take a look at the Polynesian Village tree. Very cool Polynesian notes to this beautiful tree in the lobby area. And here's a look on the other side. And one little piece I like the most here is this one right here. A sea turtle swimming in the tree. What's your favorite piece of this tree? Let us know in the comments. Now let's head over to Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa to check out their tree and some sweet treats. We've made it to Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa by Monorail. Walking in, I can see at least three trees. One right here on the second level and another one next to it. But we're heading downstairs to see that bigger tree in the lobby. In September, we did do a full resort stay and tour here at Disney's Grand Fruit Resort and Spa. So you can actually see that in the description as well as the link in the upper right hand corner. But for now, let's head down to the first floor to really see what we're here to see. I will say just the amount of decor they have here for the holidays is truly spectacular. So if you're here for the holiday season and you want to get your holiday vibe going, Disney's Grand Floridian is the place to go. From trees to garland to a gingerbread house that's made out of real gingerbread, that is what we're here to see today. Look at this work of art. I know the bakers spend a good amount of time putting this together and they even sell gingerbread there as well, which is what we're gonna go and do in just a second. Hi Santa! And of course, right next to that gingerbread house is this enormous tree that reaches to the top, almost to the top, of this Grand Floridian main building here. Very cool display of art. And then of course, the artwork behind us. There is another great view of the tree. I'm sorry, the gingerbread house. And then here is our gingerbread house menu with your grand favorites, things from the bakery, and your specialties. And here's a nice frontal view of the gingerbread house where you can order your treats, established in 1999 and has been a mainstay here at the Grand Floridian ever since. Here's a nice up close look at the menu, open daily 9am to 9.30pm. You've got brownie tree pops, gingerbread cookie dipped gingerbread Mickey ears, a gingerbread shingle, peppermint bark, twinings chai tea cupcake sampler, and those are your grand favorites. From the bakery, we've got peppermint marshmallow lollipop, gingerbread cranberry muffin, M&M snickerdoodle cookie, ginger snap cookie, milk chocolate holiday lollipop, Grand Floridian logo pop, peppermint chocolate chip bar, milk chocolate pecan fudge, and then specialties include a gingerbread house ornament, create your own gingerbread ornament kit, traditional Stalin bread, and the grand gift box with a gingerbread house. The house itself has a lot of ingredients. 1,050 pounds of honey, 140 pints of egg whites, 600 pounds of powdered sugar, 700 pounds of chocolate, 800 pounds of flour, 35 pounds of spices, a lot of creativity, and Disney magic and pixie dust. So they actually have a cool little display here that shows some of the treats, including the peppermint bark, and the dipped gingerbread Mickey ears right there. We've got the peppermint chocolate chip bar, the M&M cookie, then the pieces of the Create Your Own Gingerbread Ornament Kit, and the Milk Chocolate Holiday Lollipop. And then looking at this other side, you've got the Gingerbread House Ornament, it says 2023 on it, the Brownie Tree Pop, the Gingerbread Cranberry Muffin, 
the ginger snap cookie. You got the gingerbread house kit. And there's your gingerbread cookie, your buddy. And then milk chocolate, pecan fudge, the Twinings chai tea cupcake sampler, and then the grand gift box, which includes some petty fours and other little treats, as you can see right there. And on the side here, you can actually see a little hidden Mickey right underneath that window frame. And then if you look closely at these shutters, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. You'll see the wreath there, which actually has a Mickey face on the top part of the wreath with the Mickey ears. It's almost like a hidden Mickey. And then you've got Rapunzel on the top shutter there, Snow White, and Winnie the Pooh and Friends on this one. And we're almost at the window and ready to order. And then if you have any more questions, there's also this cool little TV that shows you how they build the details of the house. It's on a wooden frame, but it is real gingerbread. We've stepped outside because we want to enjoy some of these treats by the quiet pool. But take a look at the decor. This was not here when we stayed in September, but you've got a reindeer and its little baby deer over here. And then there's some more over here by the pool as well. Also, the last time we were here, they had scaffolding up along this back area of the main building, which is all gone now, all refreshed and ready for guests. We found our seat by the pool, and now let's take a look at our gingerbread hall. We get our little gingerbread buddy, which is gonna go to Lorelei. We've got the chocolate dipped gingerbread Mickey ears, which is for me. Christy got herself the ginger snap cookie, which looks really good. Anthony got the peppermint mushroom lollipop. And then for a little bit later, we got ourselves a little gift of peppermint bark. Okay, so I already took a bite of the uh, gingerbread cookie here with the dipped ears, but I'm gonna take another one. The gingerbread surrounded by the milk chocolate on that ear. Very good, tasty. Just what I expect from a gingerbread cookie from Disney. It was actually the first time I've ever had one of their gingerbread items in that gingerbread house. So definitely here for the holidays, make a stop at the Grand Floridian. It's totally worth it. So I also got a piece of Christie's ginger snap cookie here. She says she likes it better than the gingerbread cookie. Let's try it. Ginger snap is definitely crispier. It has more cinnamon to it, it's cinnamon flavor, and I can taste the ginger spice a lot more in a good way. I think I agree with her. This ginger snap cookie is amazing. But either way, I like ginger snap cookies, gingerbread, both great options. Definitely go for it. We've made it to Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, and right outside there's a Wadi Marketplace. Take a look at this cool tree they have here. Now we have stayed here, actually we have a club level stay, which you can see that link in the upper right hand corner and a link in the description, but we're here to check out some Christmas decorations. Take a look at that wreath right by the entrance. The big tree, which we'll take a look at in a second, is down there, but here's another tree in the lobby area right by Bell Services. Very cool decorations they have on there. Looks like they have a, looks like a carving, almost a giraffe, like a decorative giraffe head there. Kind of hard to see in the lighting, but really worth checking out if you're here for the holidays. And here is one of the largest trees on Walt Disney World property, the lobby tree at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, Jumbo House. It goes almost all the way to the top. Such a beautiful sight they have here, really cool. We love our Christmas trees, which is why we're doing this little tour for you of some of the trees around Disney today. And also here in the lobby, celebrating the third holiday season are this zebra and giraffe. But what's unique about them is that they're made of gingerbread. These seven foot tall giraffe, ginger aff. In size, our ginger compares to Humphrey, who you can look for on the Uzima Savannah. And the making the appearance for the second year is Debra the Zebra. In size, Debra compares to Raiden, you can look for on Sunset Savannah. And look at that they have here. Oh, apparently they have two hidden gingerbread Mickeys on it as well, which I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to find, but really, really cool. But look at the ingredients they have to make this. 34 pounds of honey, 27 pounds of flour, one and a half pounds of gingerbread spices, one dozen eggs, a pound of simple syrup, 55 pounds of white modeling chocolate, and 12 pounds of dark modeling chocolate. Made, brought to you by approximately 18,904 honeybees producing, I'm sorry, pollinating nearly 68 million flowers to produce, to produce the 34 pounds of honey used. One honeybee visits around 100 flowers, making 10 to 15 trips in a day, or up to 500 flowers on a productive day. Busy as a bee rings true, of course. But take a look at the gingerbread on that. 
probably pretty edible. I mean, obviously, when it was initially baked, maybe not so much now, but very cool artistic design by the bakery staff here at Walt Disney World. We're back at Disney Springs in the evening time, and here is the Disney treasure, which is actually part of the Christmas tree stroll. And uh, since uh, it's a stroll, kind of a treasure hunt, we're not gonna show you where it's at, but it's more like a topiary of the new Disney Cruise Line ship due to set sail at the end of next year. Really cool. Now that it's evening time, that town center tree is now all lit up. Take a look at that tree, very, very tall. Definitely one of the tallest here at Walt Disney World. Also part of the stroll. It's here in town center, so I uh, really can't hide that fact, but look how beautiful that tree is. And then even looking around the area, you can see all the lights here down Disney Springs, in the shops, and even on the Welcome Center down there all beautifully lit up for the holidays. And look to the sky, for there's nothing that is magical as spending the holidays together. Oh look, snow. Oh look, snow. It looks like we got snowfall. Snow. It's kind of hard to see. It's snowing. But we've got snow in Disney Springs. Florida snow. Yes, Florida snow. But still snow, right? Bubbles, right? Now you can really see the snow. And they actually have the Magic is Calling playing, which I thought they retired for the 50th anniversary. But nope, it's still here, alive and well at Disney Springs. I think Anthony is now known as the bubble collector. Look at that. Yeah. Lorelai too. Wait, Lorelai, hold on, turn around. Turn around, turn around. Thank you. Hi. There she is. And then walking down, I almost said Main Street, but nope, Disney Springs Town Center area, all the lit up trees. Reminds me vaguely of the Osborne lights from Disney's Hollywood Studios, which I miss thoroughly. And uh, let us know in the comments about that show over at Disney's Hollywood Studios that we used to have. Do you miss it? Let us know in the comments. Now we're walking down the covered area and look at all the garland on all the stores. And then we're coming up on another tree, which I believe we saw earlier. This is the Moana tree, it looks like. Yes, Moana's here in town center. And then here is your nightmare before Christmas tree, also the middle of town center. Hard to miss, but very cool. Little toys and trinkets. Look at that. Spooky Duck, the Jack-O-Lantern, even a little ornament of Sally and Jack. Now that the kids have finished the Christmas tree stroll, we're actually stopping at Planet Hollywood, one of the map pickup locations, and they're gonna go inside to turn in their map for a special little prize. All right, and Anthony is showing us the little prize he gets for that Christmas tree stroll, the Disney Springs Christmas tree stroll 2023 button. For the sake of time, I won't be able to show you every tree they have here, but there's 19 of them all scattered throughout Disney Springs. Definitely an activity to do with the family when you're here. We've taken some time to do it and uh, spent really a couple of days um, while our, in our trip here to visit Disney Springs. But now we're gonna head to another resort and show you a little something special that we found out about that we wanna let you in on. We took the bus from Disney Springs and are now back at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort for our special evening treat. Where we are headed is towards Trader Sam's. Not exactly there, but in that gentle direction. So here is the entrance to Trader Sam's Frog Grotto, which usually requires to be put on a waiting list. And they open from three to midnight, but after eight o'clock, they are reserved for adults only. But since we have the kids and it's almost eight o'clock, we're actually gonna head outside. Plus, many times, the wait is an hour and a half or more longer. So we're gonna head outside because there is a little tiki area where you can enjoy some of the same drinks and a view of the fireworks. And you get to seat yourself. So here at Trader Sam's Tiki Terrace, you can actually get the same drinks you would normally get at Trader Sam's, but at the comfort of a outdoor place to sit. We've got a nice little waterfall over here, and in this corner, you're gonna have a musician, usually a ukulele player, that is gonna sit a little bit later, play a little bit of live music for you. And there are some tables that are over by the water, so you'll be able to see happily ever after or whatever nighttime fireworks are taking place in the evening at the Magic Kingdom. 
So here's the Trader Sam's menu, which is the exact same menu you'll get inside of Trader Sam's Grog Grotto. And of course, the only difference between out here and in there is really the atmosphere and the fun stuff they do, which we'll show you in another video. But the drinks are all the same. We've got the Polynesian Pearl, the Nautilus, the Aoa, Spiced Island, the Lucida's Margarita, the Hippopotami Thai, Krakatoa Punch, the Tiki 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 Rum, the Zombie, Dark and Tropical Stormy, Spiky Pineapple, Mosquito Mojito, Tahitian Torch, the Rum Flight, Sam's No Booze Booze, which includes the Skipper Sipper and Schweitzer Falls, and the Zero Proof Polynesian Punch. Then on the back, you're gonna have your selection of beers and wines. But why would you have that? Then you can have fun drinks here at the Tiki Terrace. So Christy got the Kona Longboard Island Pale Lager from Kona, Hawaii. I got here the Tahitian Torch, which is Tito's handmade vodka with tropical juices, passion fruit, and fresh lime juice. And then Anthony and Lorelei got the Schweitzer Falls, the tropical juice with Sam's Gorilla Grog topped with Sprite. And Sam's Gorilla Grog is basically pog juice with some falernum and then I think some lemon and lime in it. But uh, I'm gonna have to give that a try, Anthony. See how that tastes. Very fruity in the tropical sense. I think there's some pineapple in there too. Yeah, there's pineapple. I can, in there. It's definitely pretty strong on the pineapple. Um, the Sprite and the pog juice is amazing. And that, that's basically it. Pretty, pretty simple. And then, of course, the kids uh, and Christy got themselves an order of pot stickers. Same pot stickers you'll end up getting at Ohana. You can actually get them here um, at the Tiki Terrace as well as normally at Trader Sam. So uh, you can enjoy those while you're enjoying your drinks as well. Thank you for joining us on our adventure today because it is you who makes this truly special. But Disney Springs and the Disney Resorts is just the beginning. Subscribe now and become part of our Disney family and let's make countless magical memories together. Until then, I hope you have a great big beautiful day and we will see you real soon.